Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over the Crusher from Immersive Engineering. And you're just first, you're going to have to build up two blocks like so, one gap in the middle, and then place down your crushers like that. After that, you're going to place down a shaft on each one of these, a gearbox on the ends, and then finally connect those gearboxes with a shaft in the center. So if you did everything right, it should look like this. Next, we want to come over to the right. So if you're standing right here, the right side is key. That's because the rotation of this will uh, matter whether it's crushing or not. So make sure you're on the right side. Place down your clutch, your water wheel, and then we're going to surround the water wheel with uh, your building block here. Break apart something down here so the water doesn't go everywhere, and then you flow out. After that, you're going to want to break this block. The water's not going to flow out, so you're good. Place down your redstone, and then you're going to come over to the other side place down a lever and the clutch is just there for people who want to uh, be able to shut off their uh, crushers whenever they want and have control of that. If you don't want to do that, you can simply take out the clutch and just put in another gear shaft and that'll allow it to just run constantly all the time. And then uh, next you can uh, add on to this a little bit, but that's pretty much how you, this, you set this up. If you want to do a little bit of automation, you'll build dispensers up top or droppers to drop the items into the center. Throw down a chest with a hopper. It only needs one hopper because it always drops everything uh, directly in the center here. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.